Yeah, it seems like there are a lot of new smartphones launching super early this year, and we have the OnePlus 12. And it's here to stack up against the Galaxy S24 Ultra to find out which is the better device or which one actually works best or whatever category you wanna pick. Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle vid. And today, as I mentioned, we're looking at two very interesting devices. The OnePlus 12, which starts at 799 and the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which starts at 1299 to see where these phones stack up. So let's look at the hardware for both of them. With the OnePlus 12, we've got this new sandstone uh, look to it. It's an aluminum build device. You've got, of course, the signature uh, camera hump there. Um, feels really nice and comfortable. Device also is quite large in terms of size. 6.82 inches. It's an LTPO display, 120 hertz refresh rate, and a maximum nit brightness of 4600. That's impressive. Now looking at the Galaxy S24 Ultra, uh, design-wise, it reminds me of the Galaxy Note. It's more square. Uh, we do have something that is that has a titanium build, so it's lighter and still sturdier at the same time. Uh, the camera housing at the back, of course, uh, we know we've got that 200 megapixel sensor as well, a new 50 megapixel uh, sensor for the 5X. We've got a quad camera system on here. And the front display is now flat. Now that display is 6.8 inches, and we do have a maximum nit brightness of 2600. So clearly, in terms of the, the brightest display, OnePlus actually takes the cake here uh, over the Galaxy. Although, it, you know, this all depends on the situation. But again, that's something that it actually does win. Pretty cool. So let's take a look at the internal hardware. What is this running? What is it powered by? We definitely know it's the Snapdragon H Gen 3 for both devices, which is truly impressive. Um, and we also have some really interesting performance and benchmarks for them. So let's take a look at Geekbench first. So with Geekbench scores for the CPU scores, single core for the OnePlus 12, we're getting 2,236 compared to the 2,177 for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But for multi-core scores, it is super close with the OnePlus 12 getting 6,727 and the Galaxy S24 Ultra 6,787 there. So very similar numbers there when it comes to CPU numbers. But when we move to GPU, uh, it's also pretty close. The OpenGL scores for the OnePlus 12 are 14,054, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is 14,429. A little bit more of a gap there, but again, very similar scores overall. So benchmarks, should be similar. Again, it's running the same processor as you'd expect. Then what about our 3D Mark scores? So looking at Solar Bay first, the OnePlus 12 got 8,665, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra overall score was 8,818. Average FPS for both of them during this benchmark was 32, 0.95 for the OnePlus 12 and 33.53 for the Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra. Again, very close and similar scores, which is to be expected. Now, when we go to Wildlife Extreme, uh, we have the OnePlus Edge now at 5,006, while the Galaxy is at 4,060. Uh, with the average uh, FPS of 29.98 for the OnePlus 12 and 29.70 for the uh, Galaxy S24 Ultra. So what does that all mean? Well, it means that when we go over to gaming and we look at all the games we played, starting off with Call of Duty Mobile, both of them run that game at the highest settings, uh, 120 frames per second for Call of Duty Mobile on both the OnePlus 12 and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We move over to PUBG Mobile. We now have the settings for 90 FPS gameplay for both the OnePlus 12 and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And we're getting, of course, 90 frames per second. As you'd expect, there's a trend here. And then moving over to Genshin Impact. This is where, of course, we have our max settings for 60 frames per second. And both devices, the OnePlus 12 and the Galaxy S24 Ultra, do, of course, 60 FPS. This is about 30 minutes of gameplay. 
And we wanted to, of course, check our temperatures here. This is where there is some slight differences. Both of them have some really interesting and improved cooling on both the OnePlus 12 and the Galaxy S24 Ultra to give us better cooling. The Galaxy got closer to 108 degrees, while the OnePlus 12 stayed at about 104 to 105. So there's a three degree difference, which, you know, is noticeable, but that's where some of the differences lie. And the final game I played, I added a new game for you guys because you've been telling me that I don't add new games, is Devil May Cry Peak Combat. Now we played this game on the max setting on both the OnePlus 12 and the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and the game ran at 60 frames per second. So in terms of gaming, both devices will handle it well enough. Genshin, of course, if you go past 30 minutes, you're gonna see a drop in frame rate for both devices. So that being said, with the OnePlus, a quick caveat that you do have to go to high performance settings to get the highest benchmark scores, but that didn't affect any of the gaming, even if I didn't set it at that, so just to let you guys know. All right, so gaming is good. What about speakers? Because of course, you're playing games, you wanna hear music, you wanna hear the games you're playing. How well do they sound? Well, let's take a quick listen to the speakers on both devices. And honestly, they sound both really good. I think in real life though, I take the Galaxy S24 Ultra over the OnePlus over a slight bit. It's a little bit more rounded in sound over the OnePlus, but the OnePlus sounds really good. I'm seeing a lot of huge improvements from OnePlus this year over last year that really take it to a very different level. Now, of course, the main caveat here is the camera. How well does that camera handle? Well, let's, let's go ahead and see if the OnePlus 12 has actually made some huge improvements because we know they did with the OnePlus open. Okay, so with the camera, in terms of video, the Galaxy S24 Ultra still wins there in video, front-facing and rear video uh, capture, especially front-facing does 4K 60, while the um, OnePlus only stops at 4K 30. Now, when it comes to photos though, that is a different matter. I do prefer the Galaxy's front-facing images over the OnePlus, uh, but not by much. I think OnePlus does a really good job in setting the skin tone right, but you can see that it's a bit darker, just the scene is darker, not my skin tone. So I do like that with the OnePlus. Uh, I think the Galaxy brightens it up a little bit more, uh, but that's just something to be said. Now, in terms of the rare images, they're really good, but the Galaxy takes the cake on zoom. The Galaxy definitely wins on the zoom lens and also just the clarity of the zoom images. So when it comes to images though, I think the OnePlus is really good. Some of you might even like the images more on the OnePlus than the Galaxy. And it's something you can pick either here or there. So I do like that with both of them. So it boils down to extras and extra features. And this is something that of course, um, all depends on how you use a device. Now the OnePlus does come with an active slider. That is something that is standard with OnePlus devices over the years, although there's a while where they took it away, but that of course is pretty cool and very simple to use to just, you know, put your phone on silent. Now the Galaxy S24 Ultra does come with a host of features. I guess it's to justify the price point of 1299 And to be fair, those features are pretty solid. This is the only device, and I'll repeat this every time I do a video on the Galaxy um, Ultra line, is that this is the only device that does come with an S Pen. And that S Pen has a lot of functionality. With the remote control functionality, you've got the full S Pen features, which we've seen over the years, and it works out pretty well. Now, the other features that you find are the new AI features with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, something you will not find on any other device at this point in time. Now, the AI features include things like circle to search, which is pretty great. You can use it at any point in your phone, whether you're watching the show, TikTok, IG, browsing, searching, doesn't matter what you're doing, you can just easily just tap and circle to search. The other features that I do like are the AI translate features, like the AI translate for text messages, which is nice, but also the AI translate for telephone calls really goes a long way. And I think a lot of people will appreciate that because it's actually just really goddamn good. Now, 
Some of the features you include are also some of the camera features, being able to, of course, use generative AI to remove objects and things like that. So a lot of those features are baked into the Galaxy S24 Ultra that you will not find in any device out there. So when we put it together though, this is a really close one. I am truly impressed with what the OnePlus 12 has brought to the table. And that slogan of never settling is back. Especially starting at the price point of $799, you really can't go wrong with the OnePlus 12. Now the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a ton of features. The AI features are really cool, they are not gimmicky and they work well. The camera is solid, even though I do think it does need some updates and improvements in certain areas. But you do have some really great performance there. But the question is to you guys, who do you think won this battle of it and which device would you pick? Is it the Galaxy S24 Ultra with all its AI features or is it the OnePlus 12 that comes in at $799 and they do have a really awesome deal where you can, you can trade in any phone in any condition, so you got a dead old Nokia phone for $100 off at oneplus.com to actually get this device at a cheaper price point. So you could technically get it for like $699 for you know, trading in an old Nokia phone. So there you have it guys. If you have any questions, any comments about the OnePlus 12 or the Galaxy S24 Ultra, let us know. And also leave your thoughts. Who do you think won this battle vid? Because I think it is so much closer than it looks. All right, enjoy your entertainment guys.